What's up YouTube? It's your girl Yoga Babiala here with a new, new, new YouTube video. And I hope you're feeling good in your physical and your sensory bodies. Today's practice is going to provide the opportunity for you to begin to cultivate more rest to reduce any stress levels or anxiety that you might be carrying physically in your body as well as through your invisible body, your emotional body. Right now we are all experiencing so many emotions that are causing us to be triggered in our emotional body. So cultivating a space just to rest and decompress within our physical and our emotional bodies is super important. This total body stretch is extremely accessible to all different body types and we move through it with little to no resistance and it's going to give you the opportunity to just cultivate a state of rest in your physical and your emotional body. Use this as an opportunity to begin to soften and find stillness throughout your vessel as you ultimately cultivate more space to hold what you're feeling during these times. You won't need any props at all. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our mat in a hot second. Welcome back fam. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our mats in a cross-legged seated position. If this position feels uncomfortable for you, you can always take a rolled up towel or blanket and position it underneath the hips to give more elevation to the hips if you're feeling a little bit tight, specifically in the hip creases. We're gonna go ahead and close our eyes and just start by softening into the body. If you do tend to disassociate from your physical body when you close your eyes because of different experiences of trauma, I invite you to keep your eyes open. Allow yourself to arrive here in the space, in your physical body first, your very visceral body. So that's the blood, the muscles, and the bones. Noticing what you're feeling here in your physical body and taking some space to soften within it. Moving towards our emotional body and acknowledging what we're feeling here, what we're carrying, and notice how that's correlating or corresponding to the physical body. So any areas of heightened sensation that you're feeling in your physical body, acknowledge where those are, and then start to become aware of what you're carrying there in your emotional body. You don't have to figure out why it's there, just more specifically acknowledge that it's there. Begin to invite yourself to convene with your breath. So come into communion with your breath, meaning you're breathing with intention and with purpose and awareness. Lengthening your inhalation through the nostrils to start. And then taking a deep breath out of the mouth, H-A. Deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, H-A. One more of those deep inhale in through the nostrils. Exhale out of the mouth, H A. Invite the lips to come together and find that exhalation, this time out of the nostrils. Pouring the breath out of the nose as you begin to cultivate almost like that sound of a soft snore. As you do so, feel yourself soften into your physical body. So 
notice the areas that you felt were correlating to things you're holding in your emotional body. Feel those areas soften, the shoulders, the low back, the fingers might soften, the groin might soften, the brows may unfurl. Just notice where you tend to hold stress or anxiety and soften there. Intentionalize the softening by acknowledging and noticing it. Let's keep the hands on our knees if they're not already there. And inhale, extend the heart forward. Head and neck, extend back. This is our cow variation. Exhale, curl the chin in towards the chest. Press the heart back. This is our cat. Inhale, let's invite the chest forward, come back to our cow. Exhale, chin to chest, press the back of the heart back, come back to your cat. Inhale, slowly extend the chest and the heart. Final cow. Exhale, press the heart back, chin to the chest, find your cat. Inhale, come back to neutral and just root your right hand on the outside of your right hip. Sweep the left hand straight up, lengthen it to the right micro bend your right elbow in towards the body and relax the right ear to the right shoulder. Extend the left hand high and then slowly extend it like a rainbow and float it down alongside the left side body, extending the left arm here, opening up the left side of the neck, continue to hold. Feel that left side lengthening here, continue to relax the right ear to the shoulder and just let the left hand hover above the earth. And you can play with extending the left fingertips to increase or decrease the stretch in the left side of the neck. Slowly root the left hand, chin comes to the chest and you sweep the right hand up and over as you glide the left shoulder towards the left ear. Now micro bend the left elbow so it comes into the body to relax the shoulder down, the left shoulder. Keep the left ear on the left shoulder, and then rainbow the right hand up and extend it out to the right, hovering the fingertips above the earth to stretch out the right side of the neck. A few more rounds of breath here, feeling that length along the right side of the neck as you extend the right hand. Maybe finding some movement in the head of the neck. So root the right hand, chin comes back to the chest and you float both hands straight up. Exhale, interlace the hands up and over the head, extend the hands straight up to the heavens. Open up through the chest. And draw those hands forward and straight down. Go ahead and extend the legs long like a V shape. So you're gonna just open the legs wide in a straddling position here and just move the sit bones out from underneath the seat. If you have that problem, which isn't really a problem, hands root in front of you, make sure your spine is long. Exhale, begin to walk forward, bow over the legs, maybe some of us can drop our forearms, others of us are just going to have our hands here. So choose your own adventure in terms of the depth. You're going to keep engaging your feet. So notice that my feet aren't limp here. I'm keeping my toes engaged to stay active through the backside of my thighs. I'm going to bow my head here, soften into my hamstrings and my hips here.
Continue to use the breath to bow forward progressively or at your own pace, rather. And as you continue to soften into your breathing, feel yourself beginning to almost stretch out those clots throughout the body, throughout the physical body that were in correlation to the emotional body. So feel yourself create more space in those areas and almost begin to almost stretch out those bunches or areas of stress. Continue to identify with the breath as you specifically acknowledge the physical body through the stretch. Inhale, let's bring the heart up. Let's walk the hands over to the right. Keep dorsiflexing both feet. Extend and lift the heart. And then exhale, just bow over the right leg. You're keeping it super gentle here. It doesn't need to be very deep. Or rather, you can control the depth. Got to keep the back of the neck and the spine long. And feel that stretch right underneath the glute, where the glute and the hamstring meet. This time draw the hands, specifically the right forearm on the inside of the right shin, and open up through the chest and the heart. The left hand's gonna extend up to the heavens and you're gonna pour it over the head as if it's gonna come to kiss the right foot. So may not be getting there today, but ultimately we'll progress there through the stretch. For yourself, pull your navel up and in towards the belly and then twist open through the chest and the heart as you maybe look forward or up. Feel yourself extend the left arm long and just really lengthen through the left side. Windmill the left arm straight up and over and you come back to center. Slowly take it to the opposite side. Come to the left side, both hands straddle the left leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Bow over the left knee. Coming to the opposite hamstring. Slowly draw the left forearm on the inside of the left leg. Inhale here and twist through the belly. Right hand comes straight up this time. And then glide it up and over the head. Continue to find a really gentle, subtle twist through the body. So these movements are really incremental to reduce the stress or anxiety reaction. So move through them really progressively and move through them with your breath. You don't need to rush to get somewhere fast. Inhale, right hand sweeps up and around. And we come back to center here. Coming back to your wide-legged straddle, you're just gonna invite your left leg in towards the right and turn towards the long way of your mat. Let's go ahead and bend our left knee. We're gonna root our right hand on the outside of the right hip, switch or kind of shift the weight to the right hip, and just sweep the left leg back. Now, I want you to create a 90 degree angle in this left shin. So, instead of the knee being up, I want you to extend it back so you have a perfect little shelf here. And there's a 90 degree angle throughout your left leg. You can fit a cube right behind the left knee. And that's kind of the degree you're wanting to take. Now, it's going to be difficult to sit right on top of the hips because this is already a stretch in itself. 
but you're going to shift weight to the right and extend the right hand back. Now you can stay here, or you might drop onto your right elbow. Now you're going to take your thumb, there's a little crease right in here, that we just want to slowly massage into that muscle. You can kind of work your way around it until you find a point where you want to focus on. Now if this is too deep, just draw your knee up a little bit more to reduce the stretch. A few more rounds of breath here. Final round of breath. You're going to slowly inhale, pluck the elbow up, and then glide that left inner thigh in toward its sibling. The right leg is still forward, and this time I want to turn the front of my foot down, my left foot down. And we're going to get into our quad. So I'm going to carry my hands back. I might stay here, or I might just drop onto my right elbow once again. I might drop onto both of my elbows, extend my heart up to the heavens, and open up through my chest, and holding here. Just stretching the front of my thigh. Stay lifted in the chest and the heart as to not dump into the low back, and keep the breath long. Now, if you have very sensitive knees or any injuries with your knees and this is bothersome for you, I invite you to come out. If it feels safe for you, you can drift all the way onto your back. This is going to be a very deep stretch, only if it feels safe. So find your option one, option two, or option three. One more breath here. Slowly shift your way onto the elbows and onto the forearms as you came down. Then pluck the elbows up, lift the chest, and extend your left leg forward. From here, you're just going to slowly cross your left knee over the right. Invite the knees in towards the body, lift through the belly, right hand comes high, capture the left knee with the right inner elbow, and begin to twist back. Slowly release, come out of it by extending your left leg. And opposite side, we're going to bend the right knee. We're going to root the left hand and shift the weight to the left hip. And then extend the right leg back. Now once again, on this side, I'm finding a perfect 90 degree angle through my right leg. I can fit a cube or a block right behind my right knee. And I'm going to carry my left hand back, not out to the left. Carry it back. And decide if this is your depth. This would be option one. Option two would be to drop the left elbow if it feels safe. Option three would just be to rest the hands on the belly. Or you're going to take the thumb and locate that little trigger point in the hip. If you just want to massage it out a little bit, you can play around with it and just kind of find any area that wants a little bit more of a self-guided touch. Now I like to find a neck release, just wrapping or dropping my left shoulder onto my left ear. Continue to lift the heart so you don't drop into the low back. Inhale, pluck the elbow up. 
by rooting the left hand. If you did come on to your forearm, keep shifting the weight to the left booty and just glide the right inner thigh in towards its sibling. But this time, turning the front of the right foot down. Now I'm still shifted onto my left hip. I'm going to carry my hands back, both hands, maybe staying right here, and just feeling the stretch on the front of my left or right thigh. Now I feel tighter on this side, so I might not come all the way down, but you can if that's an option. Remember, you have those options. Now you might stay lifted or you might come onto the forearms. Lift the heart the head up here and just soften. Now if this feels uncomfortable in the knee or the low back, like I said, come out of it, find what feels safe. You can stay here or you can come on to the back. Really breathing through it. Slowly, if you like, you can stay here longer, or you're going to come onto the forearms if you propped your way down. If you just stayed on the forearms or the elbows, you're going to root the hands, pluck your way up, shift the weight to the left as you extend the right leg forward, and then slowly cross the right knee over to the left. Lift through the heart and the belly and extend the left hand high. Capture the right knee with the inner elbow. Begin to twist back, looking over the right shoulder. Slowly come back to center and extend the legs. Shake off the knees here. Dorsi flex or engage the feet. Hands are going to sweep up and then exhale. Slowly extend. Now, same thing. Moving those sit bones as you extend the heart forward, spine forward. Some of us, our hands are going to just come right onto our shins. Others of us, we're going to capture the big toes with our two-piece fingers, lifting the chest and the heart, and then bowing forward as we bend the elbows to come down, back of the neck long. So I gaze down, lengthening out the back of the heart as well as the back side of the leg. One more round of breaths, and slowly rise, and you're going to find an awkward sukhasana, cross-legged position, so I'm going to bend your left foot, and instead, your right shin is going to come right in front, but it's not a, a deep, solid cross, it's more like a looser cross, and the hands are going to come behind you, and a root the hands into the earth, and then splay your knees out and down as you lift your hips up, head and neck come back, so we're feeling the stretch deep in the psoas, in the front of the hips, opening up through the chest and the heart as well, let's drop the hips, switch sides by just gliding, this time, your left shin comes in front of the right. Hands are going to sweep back behind you. Remember, this is a soft cross-legged position, so you want to be able to splay the knees down as you lift the hips. Heart shines up. Exhale, drop the hips and bend both knees. Make sure the feet are hip width distance. Root the hands behind you once again, but this time invert the fingers in towards the booty. Root the hands into the earth and grow the neck out 
of the shoulders. Extend the heart up, head and neck, come back, just like we did. And the option to stay here, option two, reverse tabletop. Heart lifts. Exhale, lower the hips. Carry the heels forward, sweep the hands forward and straight up to the heavens and begin to come back. As soon as you come onto your back, hug the knees into the chest. Let's rock left and right, left and right on the low back. When we're moving pose, extend that left leg, hug the right knee into the chest, wrap it out and around the rib cage. Holding here, hugging that knee into the body. Finding a half happy baby, either grabbing the ankle behind the knee or two piece fingers hook on the right big toe, shining the foot up as you bend through the knee, opening up through the hips. Now it's okay if the hips are tight, you're not able to shine the bottom of the foot up, that's okay. Celebrate where you are. Two more breaths here. Slowly extend the right heel to the heavens, interlace the hands behind the right thigh. And slowly begin to invite the knee towards the chest to open up through the backside body. Option to stay here, you're going to carry the hands a little bit higher onto the calf and lengthen out the knee as you draw the toes down to the face, heel presses up, opening up through the back seam of the legs. Remember, use your breath. It's okay if your knee shakes a little here, if your leg shakes. It's not anything negative. Slowly bend the knee, bend the left foot, and the left foot roots, and invite the right foot onto the left knee, figure four. Interlace the hands behind the left thigh, so open up through the hip or to the front of the left knee, opening up that outer right hip, two to three breaths here. Slowly root the left foot, extend the right leg long, opposite side when we're moving pose, hug the left knee out around the rib cage and in towards the chest. And then find your half happy baby. Maybe grabbing the ankle with the left hand, or you're grabbing behind the knee, or left two piece fingers. Hook on the outside of that left big toe, dropping the knee to get into this hip crease. Shining the bottom of the feet, or the foot up, if that feels safe. Extend that left heel high, interlace the hands behind the left thigh, and gently invite the knee towards the chest, opening up through the hamstrings. It's okay if you have a bend in the knee. You do, over time, just want to focus on lengthening out the knee, but it's okay if you have the bend. You can stay right here with the hands positioned where they are if this feels safe or you're carrying the hands a little higher up, not behind the knee though, behind the calf, and continuing to invite the knee to the body. Notice I still have a little micro bend here in the knee, so you can. Slowly release, bend the knee, 
Bend your right knee, root the foot, and then invite your left foot onto your right knee. Interlace the hands behind the right thigh or in front of the right knee to get into the outer left hip. Breathing here. More rounds of breath here, one or two breaths. Noticing what comes up in the emotional body once we start to get into these bigger muscles, specifically around the hips. And slowly release. Right foot into the earth, release the left, and hug the knees in, clasping the front or behind the knees. Rocking left and right to neutralize. And slowly coming to your version of Happy Baby, keeping the hands behind the thighs, drawing the feet up to the heavens, or grabbing the knees, the shins, or two peace fingers hooking you around the big toes. into the heavens. Hang out for a moment. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, collapse the backs of the shoulders into the mat. Once more deep inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, feet fall to the earth. Slowly and gently arriving on the earth as our hands float alongside them. And then slowly float the knees out to the left and the right. And bottoms of the feet come together, hands come to the womb. Closing the eyes here, keeping them open if it feels safe. Final resting posture, Shavasana. Dropping into the breath body here. Slowly invite the inner thighs to kiss. Interlace the fingers and extend the hands up to the heavens. 
straight up and over the head. Take a deep breath into the belly and the chest. Exhale, release the hands, slow angel them back down alongside the hips as you roll to the left or the right side into a fetal position, coming up to a seated position. Of your choice here. I invite you to close your practice with whatever hand mudra feels intuitive to you and show Chris's gratitude for our practice today. Traditional palms are drawn at heart center with your space in between the palms, thumbs pressing into heart center. Take a deep inhale in through the nostrils. Exhale out of the mouth, H-A. We each repeat one time, I've done my best, I leave the rest. Namaste. Namaste, fam. If this sequence felt good in your body, go ahead and give me a like and hit that subscribe button to join the family. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below or shoot me an email. Lastly, we have five spots left for our retreat in Kauai from September 21st to the 26th. If you're interested, go ahead and hit the link in the comment section below to learn more and i'll see you right back here on the mat very soon